Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in the Breakdown DLC for State of Decay, grabbing the level 4 challenges. As always, you get your first one for completing level 3. Once you step out of the RV, you should unlock the gunner. And then you can move on to your second challenge. This one requires you to get 100 heavy weapon kills. Now a heavy weapon is stuff like axes and sledgehammers. And these things drain a lot of stamina but do a ton of damage. So my best advice is if you've unlocked the sweep move, you want to hit Y to sweep the zombie. And then just use left bumper and Y to finish them. But even if you do it the traditional way, getting 100 kills is easy peasy. And you should unlock the hero after that. The second challenge is another easy one. This is to get 150 resources. And if you've been playing the game to this point, you probably already know how to get resources. You search buildings and you'll find silver objects and then you hold Y over them to search. And you want to find resources. Resources are things like food, medicine, fuel, construction materials, stuff that comes in caches. And the cool thing is you get a certain amount per cache. For example, every construction material cache has 15. Stuff like food usually has 8 depending on how big it is. But each of those goes towards the count for the 150 so I'm bringing eight food back and I'm gonna get eight towards the 150 so this is actually faster than normal so if you do construction materials and get this done in like 10 caches but you're probably gonna get this while playing the game because resources are a huge part of the game you are getting resources to build your base up as well as fix up the RV so this one's super duper easy all you have to do is get 150 it should come in no time even though the that uh, resources are a little more scarce on level 4 but after you bring your 150 back you should get the survivor challenge done the next one is to get 50 assault rifle kills assault rifles are a little rare but if you've been unlocking characters and doing new game plus you should have unlocked some characters with an assault rifle now don't get confused with an SMG or an LMG because those are completely different weapons. An assault rifle is labeled as such as assault rifle. But my best advice is just like with all the other gun kills, you want to score headshots. A cool thing with assault rifles is if you can hit A, you will switch to one shot mode. Instead of shooting it like a machine gun, you shoot it like a rifle where you shoot one bullet at a time. And that is an easier way to save ammo. And that will help a lot for the next challenge we're going to go to. But getting 50 kills is super easy. My best advice is to stay near your base so you can stock up on ammo. And if you ever run low on ammo, it's pretty hard to find, but you can find it in the military fairgrounds area in the northwest part of the map. And after that, you should get the rebel challenge done. This next challenge is probably the hardest one in the whole game, and it is to get 25 headshot streaks. Now what a headshot streak is, is 5 headshots in a row. For guns, I recommend using rifles as they're the most accurate, but if you run out, you can always switch to pistols or revolvers, or the assault rifle. Once again, hit A and you can go to single shot mode and use an assault rifle like a regular rifle. You cannot do that with SMGs or LMGs as they will always shoot like a machine gun. There is no mode switching in them. And my best advice is to find hordes and try to lure them away. Kite them around and shoot them in the head and try your best. Once you hit shooting level 7, you can upgrade the technique known as focus aim, which will slow down zombies while you're in targeting mode. And that helps out a bunch with this challenge. So all you have to do is keep finding hordes and try to do, to do your best to get headshots. There have been a lot of times where I've gotten 4 and just missed the last one, so that kind of sucks. But... This one will come eventually, just keep working at it and try your best to stock up on ammo. So scrounge around your best for ammo because this is the challenge you need the most ammo for because you are generally going to mess up just a bunch. But once again, always keep your eyes peeled for hordes, always have guns with you, always keep the clip count above 5 and you should be good. Just try to funnel them and 5 headshots should come in no time. Once you get your 25th streak, you should get the sniper challenge. And the final challenge for this level is to get 50 explosive kills. Now you can use grenades which you can find out in the wild, but they're a little bit scarce. My best advice is to go into infestations and just throw the grenade through the window. Make sure you shoot out the glass or break the glass and just throw the grenade inside. You should get about 10 or so kills. 
If you're having trouble finding grenades out in the wild, what I recommend doing is setting up a basic workshop. Of course, you can use the dashboard method to speed along your construction projects as always by moving up the clock about an hour or so. You might have to do a fetch quest to complete your construction project on this difficulty. So once you load the game back up, you want to upgrade your basic workshop to a regular workshop. And this all requires construction materials, so keep your eyes peeled for those. And once you get that done, you want to upgrade that to a munitions shop. You're going to need a chemistry expert in your party. Party. So hopefully you still have one from level 1 from that challenge. Once you get your munitions shop, you can go to it and you can start crafting weapons. You want to make pipe bombs or steel pipe bombs. I recommend regular pipe bombs because they cost less. They cost 1 ammo and 1 fuel and a couple of influence points. They should appear in your supply locker once they're done. You want to take them and stock up. You get 5 every time you build them. So you can just stock up. Same thing as the grenades. Go to infestations and just try your best to throw them through the window. And they should explode and you should get about 10 or so kills. And it's only 50 so you only need about 5 infestations worth. So just keep finding zombies and keep exploding them and you should get the grenadier challenge. And that's the last one for this level. Check back soon for the final one. And that's it.